as we approach the Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight. Tank versus the social media king. I want to say this. Because Ryan has jumped the line, skipped the line, and he hasn't sharpened his skill set coming into this fight because he hasn't battle tested himself amongst other reputable and premier fighters such as um, Isak Pitbull, Pitbull Cruz, um, Aroli Romero coming off the Javante Davis knockout, um, and people of that caliber. Because he is skipping the line, and his numbers can substantiate, and his numbers can substantiate his acquisition of this fight. Javante, he's going to be blindsided by Javante. Day. What Ryan Garcia assumes or is anticipating is going to be polarizing to what he expects because Javante Davis is not going to move and maneuver in this match the way Ryan Garcia is anticipating or thinks, whatever his team is assuming. And that is going to be the determining factor of whether he wins this fight. It's not really based on knockouts for neither one of them. To be to, to, Truthfully, I don't want to see this fight end in a knockout. I want to see it go all 12 because I want to see the extent of Ryan Garcia's courage, that confidence he keep talking about, that relentlessness he keep talking about. He say he he say he has a tenacity unlike any other fighter that Tank has fought. Um, that's a fallacy to me because we haven't even seen his tenacity or his relentlessness tested as of recent so how does how can you sharpen skills that you haven't even battle tested you don't know what you need to adjust in your game and about yourself for this Javante Davis fight you don't know now they're going to train hard it's going to be strenuous. He's going to do the hardest work he ever has to he's ever had to do. Yeah, because everybody know that Javante Davis is battle tested. And in addition to that, his power is relentless. His power is devastating. So as much as Ryan Garcia has that speed and that power, if Javante doesn't maneuver in the way that Ryan Garcia's past opponents have, because watch his knockouts, his past knockouts. His opponents leaning with their head, leaning forward, having their hands drop. The right side or the left side just dropped a little bit too much. Being too lenient, trying to fight on the inside and getting clipped by Ryan Garcia. Javante Davis... <laughs> Will not maneuver in a way that would be advantageous for Ryan Garcia to get a knockout. Let's see. But I know.